have made it. We are now at week four, our final week of the Bluebell Poncho Loom Along. And now you've got your poncho on your loom. You're just ready to bind off and assemble that baby and go show it off. Congratulations, you have knit 35,640 stitches. That's pretty amazing. So good job guys, proud of you. So we're going to do a bind off. Um, the bind off I like to use for this one is a yarn over bind off because you don't have to worry about your tension. You kind of want to keep this bind off a little bit snug and it makes for a real pretty edging on your neckline. So we'll show you how to do the bind off and then you're going to make a fabric that is 62 and a half inches wide and obviously this fabric is doubled. Um, once you bind it off, you may decide, oh, I just want to wear this as a shawl. That's fine. You don't need to go to the final step. But if you do want to make a poncho, all we do is we fold the poncho in half with the right sides facing one another. So the right sides, the side on the outside that I'm going to show whenever I wear it, that, that side we put facing one another, fold it in half. We measure off a section here at the fold of 12 inches. And we're going to you know, mark that, whether you use a stitch marker, a pin, a bobby pin, whatever. But you're not going to sew that closed, because that's where your neckline is going to be. And then we just use a mattress stitch and seam up the end of it, and you are done. So let's go get this thing done. So it's time now to bind off our poncho. We've got basically 62 and a half inches wide, 20, 22 inches roughly tall. So now we're going to bind it off. We're going to use the yarn over bind off for this poncho. I like this bind off for the poncho because you don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta keep it loose. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm gonna, scrunch up the fabric if I if I wrap it too tight. With this uh, bind off, you actually kind of want to keep a snug or a tight tension. Step number one, you unit peg number one. Step number two is we're going to e-wrap knit peg number one. So again, on that exact same peg, we're going to e-wrap knit it. The next thing we do is we unit peg number two. Step number four, we're going to move the loop from peg two back to peg one. Kind of snug that up a little bit. Step number five, we're going to lift the bottom loop from peg one up off of the top loop. Again, kind of keep snugging that up. Step number six, we're going to pick up that loop on peg number one. We're going to move it to the empty peg number two and snug it up. So now I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to rename these pegs. I'm now going to call this one peg number one. So we repeat these steps over again. Step one, we unit peg number one. Step two, we e-wrap knit peg one. Step three, we're going to e-wrap, or excuse me, we're going to unit peg number two. We're going to lift the loop from peg two, place it on top of the loop on peg one, snug it up, lift the bottom loop off of peg one up over the top loop, and now we move the loop from peg one to the empty peg two, and that's it. We're now going to call this one peg one and start over. We're down to our last two loops. Unit peg one, e-wrap knit peg one, unit peg two, lift the loop on two, put it back on peg one, bottom loop off the top, snug it up and we're done. I now have just one loop left. So what you want to do now, cut yourself, six inch tall, whoops, ah! <laughs> yourself about a six inch tail without knocking everything over. Okay, e-wrap that last peg one more time. 
and now just pull that tail completely through the stitch and it's secure, it won't unravel. This is the yarn over bind off. Okay, so now what we have created, I have sewn mine up, but what we have created is a rectangle that's 62 inches long by 22 inches, 20 to 22 inches deep. You can see that this is the right side of the fabric. This is a fat, this is a side that I want to be showing. So to finish this poncho, you can, you don't have to finish it. You can leave it just that long rectangle and you've got yourself a shawl. But if you want it as a poncho, a hands-free poncho, You put the right sides together. You fold the poncho in half, putting the right sides together. I'm going to turn it around because this is going to be the side that I sew. And I take my tape measure and I leave 12 inches roughly up here for an opening. I leave 12 inches right here as an opening for my head to go through the poncho. And then you just pick up and sew. Take a take some yarn, put on your yarn needle, and you just pick up one stitch on each side and do a mattress stitch sewing across there. And then that is it. Well guys, you are done. I hope you had a good time loom knitting the bluebell poncho. Do me a favor, would you? Take a picture of yourself in the poncho. Go to my Facebook page, it's Dana Scholes Designs, and post a picture of you showing off the new poncho that you made. Proud of you guys, you did a great job. Thanks for sticking with me and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care folks and happy looming.